I've decided to make and test a bunch of single oil soaps. I want to evaluate what each oil does on its own. I'm thinking this will be a practical guide for when it comes to formulating blends, when I can see what qualities each individual oil brings to the party. It's something I've been interested in doing for a while, and I'm not expecting to see vast differences between most of them, but there's only one way to find out for sure, and that's to do it. To keep things consistent for each test, I'm going to use 300 grams of oils. The super fat will be the standard 5% and water will be at 20%. The only difference is that I'm going to add a bit of colour to each one so I can keep track of which is which. I'll cut a few bars of each and test them at different time intervals, starting with when they're fresh out of the mould. I'm Rox. Let's crack on. Today I'm testing out 100% cocoa butter soap. Here's what my recipe looks like on soap calc. So there's a pretty much even split between palmitic, stearic and oleic acid. So in theory we should get hard soap with stable, creamy, conditioning lava. Let's see how it works out. As for all the soaps in this series, it's not about the making but about what kind of soap we get at the end. So I'm just going to speed through all the prep. I thought this might trace faster than liquid oil soap batter, especially because of the stearic acid content, but it didn't. It took longer than I anticipated to get to even a light trace, so when it got to that point, that's when I poured it in the mould. I expected it to set quickly and be very hard. It did and was. I'm cutting this at around 24 hours and glad I didn't wait any longer. It's really hard and for me, it was bloody hard to cut through. You can see the pressure I'm having to apply. This soap was rock solid. I can still smell the cocoa, which is really nice. The soap's smooth and kind of more matte looking than the liquid oil soaps. Let's test it. Okay, fresh out of the mold, I'm not seeing many bubbles worth mentioning. Oh, hang on, there's one. I keep going and the bubbles are coming. So that's probably because it just needed a few moments to become more soluble. I was expecting it to be creamier, so I'm a little disappointed in that respect. This soap left my skin feeling a bit on the slimy, slippery side, and I wasn't too keen on that feel, but my hands did feel lovely and soft when that sliminess wore off. I'm looking forward to seeing how this does after it's cured for a while. Right, that's 100% cocoa butter soap. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again later. Ta-ta!